Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Stellaris. Uh, in the last episode, if you remember, uh, we had a little war. Well, you missed most of the war, um, but we've ended up uh, conquering uh, another nation almost in its entirety. Uh, there were basically no one left uh, alive, which is brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, well, probably left alive, but just, you know, not free. Uh, our Empire Sprawl has skyrocketed because of that. And with all the uh, the new places that we have to to manage, there's there's a whole bunch of things that really we should start taking care of, um, such as building additional buildings and, and things like that. Uh, so having a look down the the list, most of the places have unemployment and they can support additional buildings. So we should really think about what we want to be doing going forwards on that sense. And I think having administrative capacity is probably going to be something that will be beneficial to us. So let's let's get things unpaused. We can get that upgrading over here. Uh, our Inaris capital uh, unfortunately has overcrowding, but there's not much we can do about it because we don't have any extra spaces available. Uh, over here, what's going to give us admin capacity? Administrative offices will... And in fact, if I... Yeah, if I switch it to government, admin offices are really where it's going to be. Uh, we're going to need to do quite a bit of trading to get the, um, the materials that we need rather than waiting for them. Uh, which is absolutely fine. Resource storage full. Senate is in session. Let's have a quick check. Uh, yeah, we are going against this repealing minor research sanctions. Uh, others may decide that they want to, to go for it, but we've got such an overwhelming diplomatic stance. Um, it's not, not really a concern for us. So over here... Let's buy... Let's buy a whole bunch. We'll get some admin going. Hell, we'll get we'll get two lots of admin offices on there. Kegros Prime. You can also get some admin offices. Over here we've got overcrowding as well, so we're gonna want a main city district. And no, let's uh, let's go research for this one. I think. In fact, it's it's a bureaucratic centre. Oh yeah, this is where we did all our uh, naval stuff. So yeah, we'll get admin offices. Uh, this is the generator world. We are getting moats and yeah, could do with some more fabricators actually. So let's get that. And we'll get a city district as well. Combat some of the overcrowding. Jeez, there's a lot of overcrowding here. We're already out of resources. Let's unpause it so that we can start getting some more. Right, two city districts. Haldus Prime, you're going to want a city district as well. In fact, we can we can speed this up now. It's been uh, it's been a couple of weeks uh, since I played last, so it might take me just a moment to get back in the swing of things. Um, but I mostly remember what we're doing. We're we're building Cyrex Alpha, and we're planning where our next conquest is going to be. Uh, let's sell some of this food. It's going to allow us to do a lot more. Right, Haldus. Haldus. Uh, yeah, get get more of these. I'll hold off on upgrading some of our research bits. Oh, actually, per. Reminals, yeah, we are getting a fair few of them. Let's uh, let's sell 
ones that we're producing a ton of. Research concluded. Lacking sixty. Yeah, we can we can buy those those sixty. Uh, ooh, right. Food from uh, from various jobs is increased. Let's pick a new research. Workers turn consumer goods into unity. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. Habitability modification. Don't care about that. In fact, most of these I don't really care about. Let's uh, let's get a clone army. Our admin capacity is going up. That's good. Uh, this is going to reduce the cost of loads of things that we're doing. Still lacking 43. Let's buy some. So how does Prime? We'll get some more of these. Uh, yeah, let's get that being produced as well. There's a buzzword standardization. So what is is this? Diplomatic weight from economy plus twenty percent. Let's double check. Um, how we're doing in terms of economic strength. Six thousand versus three thousand. Yeah, we can we can allow that. It will give us a bigger benefit than everyone else. Research concluded. More research. Clone army. Hooray. Starbase capacity plus one. Yeah. Because we are over capacity. Which is obviously another day. Another meaning scientific. of various uh, various things are costing more. Do we want jump drives? Yeah, let's let's go for gravitational analysis. Okay, over here we've still got unemployment, so I want to have a look and see what of these we can do. Let's let's increase the number of minor jobs. Down here, yeah, let's. Uh, Let's improve the number of minerals we're getting from minor jobs with a mineral purification plant. And this is a bureaucrat. Oh yeah, this is absolutely full. Yeah, we need to... We need to get a whole bunch more resources. Uh, let's buy a ton of these. Upgrade that one, we'll upgrade that one. Hey. Okay, let's uh let's pay attention to Cybrex Alpha, because this place is finished. Right, okay, so unemployment and poverty are spreading at an alarming rate over here. Yeah, this is the one that I want to upgrade. As a temporary solution, we could increase the unemployment benefit. Uh, yeah, institute the increased benefit. That'll be fine. Uh, and we'll try and get some more... I wonder, is that going to give... Yeah, it'll give it an additional five researcher jobs, so that'll be worth it. That should counter pretty much all of the worker unemployment. Over here, let's get 
another admin office on the go. And really, all of this is just a distraction from, from the war that we wanted to be undertaking. Great, new skills. Everyone likes new skills. Yeah, we can't go there because Matraxi Stars has closed their borders. We might declare war on them next. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking that that's, that's going to be worth it for us. Uh, we'll get an education campaign going in just a second as soon as we've got the money for it. Our economy is looking great at the moment. Okay, let's uh, let's go to Cybrex Alpha. So we've got this part of the ring world going. This one we'll be able to do in a tiny, tiny amount of time. And we're going to need to think about what we want to do with Cybrex Alpha as a whole. Research concluded. Hey, and a new tradition is available. All right, well, we'll do our technology first. Stormfire auto cannon kinetic battery. Yeah, let's let's go for some missiles actually for change. Uh, we've already set that one going again. So new traditions. We need to pick uh, a new thing to adopt. Harmony, uh, lead lifespan increasing, that seems good. Or expansion, starbase influence cost reduced. Mm. New colony start with, yeah, an additional population. Let's go for expansion. Oh, we're so close to being able to get this. So close. How are these doing in terms of their build queues? Still got loads of... Uh... I mean, it's such a shame because I would, I would love us to... In fact, where's... Yeah, let's get an energy grid here. That'd be a reasonable one. Try and get a tiny bit more money because we've got some generators there. Um, but yeah, we're going to need quite a lot more in terms of resources. Let's get that upgrading. And over here... Gas extraction wells. Sure. Mineral purification hub, this is going to help with some of the unemployment. Next section of Ringworld is underway. Uh, hmm. Now, with one unemployed person, we could do. Ooh, so city segment, commercial segment, research segment. This is new. Turning minerals into... Oh, I see. And an agricultural segment. That's a very interesting way of doing this. This is not, not what I expected at all. Uh, obviously, they cost quite a bit to produce, so it'll be a while before we can do much with it, but that's, uh, that's very interesting. Give us one more merchant jobs, which is not huge. Actually, over here we are generating plenty of consumer goods, so this will be the next thing that I want to build. Now, 
Now, it says we're lacking in exotic gases, but I know we've got exotic gases because I can see them up here. Unless it's down to the, the individual section, which is possible. It is entirely possible. Okay, so points of ingress. Ah, uh, uh, resolution fail. Uh, points of ingress into our areas uh, are going to be here and here and potentially down here for the Natraxi stars. Awesome. Another ring world section has been restored. Uh, we need to colonize it, of course, uh, if we're going to Oh wait, it was no, it was the other one. Ah, oh, yeah, we've got another section entirely. All right. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get a new colony. Research concluded. Going for it. We'll call it habitable section B because I mean it's basically part of Cyberx Alpha. We can always rename it later. Uh, next research is going to be on. The Mega Cannon? Sure. We've almost got our Empire Sprawl up to the point where I'm happy with it. We can build another Titan, actually. Let's have a look at our Fleet Manager. So this fleet needs to be removed. because it's actually got nothing in. And that means our, our three remaining fleets are, are out there, which is what I expected. So you guys are at Hicklam. Uh, let's, let's bring you all the way up here. You're there, that's fine. You're there, that's fine. I'm tempted to enhance these fleets and uh, and start leading them in. I don't think we have anything to worry about down here. This is just going to be like a little blocker. Um, I mean, it's good to, good to know that it's a potential point of ingress, but not one that we're really going to worry about that much. We are a bit low on rare crystal production. Let's get a synthetic crystal plant. Rising unemployment on Thrus Sugar. Yeah, they're up to eight. Now we can create five more metallurgist jobs. Create some more technician jobs actually. And more clerk jobs. And more bureaucrat jobs. Uh, we'll institute the increased benefit for, for the moment. That's uh, ab absolutely fine. Okay, with two population over here, I definitely want to start working on Haldus Prime. That gives 20 clerk jobs. Amazing. Research concluded. So yeah, we definitely want a, a city segment as soon as we can afford it. So let's let's buy our way into that. And uh, for research, 
allows us to exploit volatile moats. Great. Okay, now in Cybrex Alpha itself, uh, we'll rename this Cybrex Beta. Research concluded. Two more bits of research are done. Wow, that was really quick. Um, shield hit points up and leader lifespan up. I like both of those. Colony ship is on the way in. There it is. I knew it'd be pretty close. So this city segment is going to be done in a moment. And then I want to research segment next. Research concluded. Initial colonization phase commencing. And that, that will keep them very happy for a while. Giga Cannon. It just sounds even big. In fact, we've already got some of the kinetic battery, so we'll, we'll just get that marked off. So being able to exploit volatile moats, I should probably look around for where where they are. Ooh. Do I want to build a mega structure? No. Comfort the fallen. Diplomatic weight from tech minus 20%. We're opposing this. Buzzword standardization. We're ooh research agreement broken. Okay, I mean that that seems sensible. All right, so onto the fleet manager. The smaller of the fleets, uh, the murder of crew and the murder of Tritia, we can have one more Titan. Uh, so the murder of crew is going to get it. Research concluded. Uh, which Titan was it? Majestic Slaughter. going to be expensive but it's going to be worth it so we'll get that going over here we're going to get another battleship two more of these and then what i might do is i might have a look at our um, various designs and get our fleets upgraded world cracker <laughs> Admiral Be Beak of Orange is getting to the limit of what they can do. Oh wow, arrested development, that is a terrible thing. Okay. Alright, yeah, so uh, ship designer. Let's, uh, let's have a look at our various various things. I'm just making sure that these are all set to auto-upgrade. And it looks like they are, which is good. think potentially building the uh... yeah right so down here I remember we had our Titan production yard Starbase needs colossal assembly yards okay so it's got Titan assembly yards 
It's got command center. That I would need to swap over for this. And that will allow us to do what I want. Uh, we will get you upgraded. Receiving transmission. Non-aggression pact invitation from the Sinar Inst uh, Interstellar Union. Now the Sinar are all the way over here. Uh, we still don't want to do it, uh, but it's it's good to know that they are miles away. I do think that the associated and Traxy stars are going to be the next people. Initial colonization phase complete. Great. So just a reminder, this was going to be Cybrex Research Peter. concluded. World cracker. Okay, what else are we going to go for? Uh, kinetic weapon damage up. Murder of Rickett. Okay, you were going to come up here once you were done. Our reinforcements are coming through thick and fast now. This is very good. I'm actually looking at it. We're getting a decent number of minerals as well, so I want to boost our fabricators so that uh, we can then support those research jobs. Uh, yeah, let's get some... Let's get some more bureaucrats. And you can get upgraded as well. Trying mostly to keep on top of the, the different things going on. But there is so much to keep up with. Alright, so colonization fever. That is the tradition we want. And uh, yeah, let's. Uh, so the Varian Shard, they are overwhelming. Everyone else is pathetic to us. So, Associated Natraxi Stars. They've closed borders to basically everyone. They've got a Cassus Belli on us. Ooh. So the Badukan system. Let's uh, let's close this off. Ah, oh, that's down here. Yeah, pirate fleet. Okay. Come here and please deal with this. And I will upgrade this to to a star base. Which I don't Station think is going to happen. Sustaining in time. Damage. Oh yeah, that's that station is just going to get completely mullered. They are still fighting, trying their best, but without proper weapons to defend themselves, it's Research it's concluded. just pinging, pinging at the pirates. Uh, let's get our naval capacity up. Oh no! They're like properly destroying our stuff! Oh 
Horrible, horrible, Mine horrible station things. offline. Research concluded. Our fleet is very nearly here, though. Initializing hostile engagement protocol. Yeah, that's just not a surprise. Okay, you guys did very well. Uh, we're going to send you back over here, though, and I need one of my construction ships to come down. Get a mining station here. Oh, actually, I need you guys to take care of that first, then come up here. So you're going to do that. And in the meantime, we can... Striking hostile station. Pirate station raided. Ooh, cool. That was actually worth it. I didn't mind uh, taking a tiny spot of damage on that. Uh, this is still upgrading. Construction so project concluded. It will be in a better position to defend itself. Construction project concluded. Uh, you know what? Let's. Uh... So, if we want a naval logistics office, we need to have an anchorage. So, let's get an anchorage. Ooh, well done, Oni Quarag Empire. I mean, I would have loved it if we'd been able to do that, but uh, obviously, it's uh, it's all dependent on uh, where you are in the galaxy and what your priorities are. I think we'll go for a trade hub here. Upgrade, then come back. Yeah, we can have extra buildings here, but... So much housing available. So, so much housing, so many jobs. Awesome, and a third Ringworld section has been made. So, once again, colonizing it, and this is going to be Cybrex Gamma. And this ring section we can't quite afford to do yet, but look at this! This looks so awesome! Yay! Lots of standardization has been passed, which means our, our, <laughs> our influence has shot up even more. That's, that's just so cool. So, so close to being able to do this. Construction project concluded. Great. We have our replacement mining station. It's not much, but you know, every every little bit that we're getting does help us out. Yeah, they've got quite a lot of combat power on the edge here, so having improved our naval capacity, I think let's uh Let's boost the fleet these. enhancement supplied. Construction project concluded. That Titan's going to be coming in soon as well. 
Uh, yeah, let's get another, 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 another. Here comes the Titan. Because th these are going to be our points of ingress. Uh, if we come up here, secure these four systems, and then round here, and then we can decide whether to pull down this way or, or go up that way. It's all about the preparation. That's what we're doing at the moment. And uh, being in 2373, we are over halfway through the game at the moment. Obviously, the uh, Avery and Shard are still so far ahead of everyone because of their technology. Yeah, all the, all the reinforcements are on their way. This is good. So over here, we've got three unemployment. I've still got quite a few consumer goods, but I want I want more. So let's get that going. Uh, we'll also get two Research more concluded. mining places. Get a minimal purification plant. And in addition, an exotic gas refinery. Over here, alloy nano plants. Cybrex Beta, we're going to get one of these going. How does Secundus? I feel like we need more consumer goods. Research concluded. So we'll get that going. Our, our economy is in great shape, um, which I really, really love, but we do need to obviously be careful about making sure it doesn't swing negative. There we go. Our, our fleets are looking Research significantly concluded. beefier. And our naval capacity is up even more. Uh, edict duration up. That's actually auto curating. Well, we may as well take off some of the, the lower down ones. Yeah. Their opinion of us uh, has gone down. That's not a surprise. Initial colonization phase commencing. Brilliant. Cybrex Gamma is on the way. Yeah, so initially pushing through these four and up here. One, two, three, and then we can potentially bottle up their, their home world and down here do X. Huh. Guarantee the independence of the Citizen Republic of Jurad. Another day, another scientific breakthrough. Okay, they've opened their borders to us. Where is that? Is that a new... Yeah. So every time the Han, like, 
decide that they're going to break out from the Signer into Stella Union, we end up with like a little tiny uh, hard place. That's that's awesome. I mean, it's not ours, but it's kind of ours because it's our people. Uh, let's go for the fleet command limit up. I don't think we're going to hit it anytime soon, but it'd be very nice. That, that was very quick in terms of uh, revoking that. There's only th three unemployed people here. There's only one here. There's Research six concluded. here. There's ten here. Let's upgrade that. We'll get more shield hit points. And you know what? I'm going to make the fleets even bigger. So because we've got so much capacity, in fact, I could I could just duplicate and get a new... Uh, yeah, let's get a new fleet. So we're going to get uh, four deformers. Uh, four bloodstained claws. Uh, disfiguring beak or yeah disfiguring beak and we'll get one of each of these battle sorry two of each of these battleships three of each of these battleships. Ah, Primus Cloudwing x -Tac has died. 114 seconds as Cloudwing x -Tac is the new heir. So we've cycled through leaders once again. Uh, that new fleet, actually, I want to assign someone to it. So you're eager and aggressive. So let's do that. Having an extra fleet will give us um, a little bit more in terms of options. And these are these are getting churned out quite quickly, actually. I'm going to just leave this as a buffer, though. Uh, you guys, actually, you can come up here. A peace offer. Free Han Nation. Research oh, I, I suppose they must have been at war. Okay, well, we've got a new uh, new tradition that we can do. Uh, pop growth speed up. No, let's go for Reach of the Stars first. Fleet command limit up. That's good. Admin capacity up. That's going to be very good. So we'll get that quickly. And there's a new resolution. Military Readiness Act. Diplomatic weight from fleet power up and naval capacity up. Yeah, we can support that. And repeal. Initial colonization phase complete. So diplomatic weight from tech will increase and research station output will increase. Yeah, we can we can support that. Hey, and Cybrex Gamma has been founded. When we can afford it, uh, we'll get to this upgrading. Is it just the uh, AT 
rare crystals that we need, yeah. Okay, uh, so what we could do is we could sell those and we could buy those. That will give them some some jobs and a little bit of housing and, uh, and stuff to move towards. Yeah, we may as well upgrade that. Uh, we need ten population before we can up. Hmm. Oh, we've only got five population. Yeah. Oh, the murder of Fidget is a small fleet comparatively. Still waiting on a couple of ships coming in to reinforce it. But as those get finished, they'll uh, they'll make their way over. So I think uh, next time we're going to gear up for war against the Associated and Atraxi stars. Um, it's probably not the most sensible thing we could do. Um, going after the Avery and Shard is probably going to be better, but it's, it's really hard to say. Let's get um, kinetic weapons going, and in fact I wanted to check in here. We can build Colossi now. Great. So actually, let's have a look at our ship designer for the Colossus. The World Cracker. It would destroy a world completely. I think I'll I think I'll keep our our current one. Put it to, to auto upgrade anyway. So as we get a little bit more, we'll be able to afford this. Uh, we only need 4,400 more alloys. Oh, we've got 20k money. So now we only need 602. Substance abuser. Jeez, is, is my regime so bad? I suspect it must be. I suspect it must be. I mean, insofar as our um, various things go, we're not too far over capacity. When we uh, when we go after the Associated and Traxy stars, we will end up massively outmatched um, in terms of uh, our our capacity on that. A declaration of war has been announced. Okay. Sinar and Stellar Union is going up against the Citizen Republic of Jugarad. Okay. Uh, it's miles away from us, so we don't really care that much. And we have our Egg of Death on the way. Today is a good day. Today is a very good day. Now, the Neutron Sweep, I think, is just going to, like, obliterate rather than uh, so obliterate the people on the planet rather than do anything else so it'll be it'll be interesting to see how that pans out a fleet of uh, 10,000 a fleet of 16,000 we should easily be able to take Meredith when we move in does mean we'll be leaving the her black hole comfort the fallen failed oh 
Can't think why that was. It's almost like someone someone opposed it. Only two supporters on that. Our diplomatic weight is so big compared with everyone else. Oh, we're actually over our naval capacity with this, uh, with this Colossus. Has it finished already? It can't have finished already. No, it's going to be quite a while, uh, but it does count against us already. It's only a little bit over. Uh, right, in here, I was going to build us a naval logistics office, which will definitely help. Research concluded. And then let's put energy weapon damage up. Everything that's just going to give us an edge in combat at this point. How is our fleet looking? Oh, that is looking much healthier. I mean, th these will be possible to split up. I have no illusions that that's not going to be a thing we do. this. No, you're still waiting for temp population. Interestingly, this has got more capacity for... for districts, I think. Oh no, we've got a housing district on... yeah. Research concluded. Get a housing district going on each of them. Ooh, we've almost brought our empire sprawl back into uh, back into some form of like sane position. Uh, yeah, we need exotic gases and rare crystals. because we're not producing any at the moment. So, exotic gases. Synthetic crystal plant. Exotic gases, synthetic crystal plant. And hell, you can get the same as well. You can definitely afford that education campaign edict. Yeah, I mean, we're losing a little bit of complete. food at the moment, but that's that's not too bad. Uh, in fact, we could even we could even shore that up with some uh, some agricultural ones. One, one over. Do we have a specific farming world? This might actually be the closest we have to it. Ah, this one. Yeah, it's got hydroponics as well, but there's not really much more we can do there. Oh, actually, I've got an idea. You guys can just produce food. sell some of these. So on the ring world, get some food going. Get some food going. Get some food going. Yeah, 
we're supporting this resolution, I also need to think about generating some more, more money. So the energy grid is is nice, but it doesn't give us proper generation. So I'd need something uh, something like this or here. Why have we got the still got district space left? All right, let's uh, let's go from the top. No. Yeah. Research concluded. And, uh, yeah, Giga Platform. Right, so, Freehan Nation has become more militaristic. Well, I'm sure that they're going to be having a whole load of fun down here. I honestly don't really see that fight going anywhere. So a couple of pants fleets, a couple of pants fleets down here. I I think when we declare war on them, we're going to walk through their territory very quickly and very easily. we get another generator district yet? Ah, <laughs> oh, there's just no space for it. I don't think there's going to be much more we can do to further boost the money that this gives us. But we can upgrade that. That's an independent crystalline entity. Well, we don't really care about it. It can it can go through our systems. We could like clear it out, but. There's, there's absolutely no need for us to do that. Right. Hostile fleets. Right, this we do need to pay attention to. Where is this? Ah, it is. It is actually there. Right, murderous fidget. You can come in and take care of it. Our station is going to try and defend itself as much as possible. But really, these are the guys who are going to come to save today. Just like that. And as if by magic, the shardlings are gone. Okay, uh, well, we're in a great position, so next time we'll be able to uh, start the war. Uh, let's just have a look at this last resolution. Repeal the Guardian Angels Act. Uh, no. Research concluded. We'll, we'll oppose it. Uh, so this is going to be uh, it for this episode. Uh, thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for some more Stellaris. See you soon. <laughs>